Ancient Rome, History of International Law, Visualized Ancient Rome made treaties with Latin cities situated around Rome, under which Latins and Romans were given rights in each other's courts, and promised mutual cooperation. Once Rome became an empire, the Romans organized their relations with foreigners, based on two doctrines. Jus Fetiel, and Jus Gentium. Jus Fetiel consisted of religious rules to govern Rome's external relations, and its formal declarations of war, which recognized the inviolability of ambassadors, and were at the origin of the distinction between just and unjust war. Jus Gentium is the rules governing legal relations between Roman citizens and foreigners. This law was the first truly international law, although it only regulated relations between private individuals. It was based on the commercial law used in Mediterranean trade, on Jus Civile, which is the law applicable to relations between Roman citizens, in its less formalistic version, and on the principles of equity and good faith. The distinction between Jus Civile and Jus Gentium ceased when Roman citizenship was granted to all male inhabitants of the empire. However, Jus Gentium did not disappear but became an essential part of Roman law, thus impacting European legal systems and public international law. From ancient Rome, international law has also inherited the doctrine of the universal law of nature, which was initially developed by Stoic philosophers of ancient Greece, and then adopted by the Romans. This doctrine considered law as the product of right reason, originating from assumptions about the nature of man and society, because natural law is the expression of right reason, it applies universally.